If you look up at the sky at night, it seems very placid and almost unchanging. Not true in gamma rays and not true in spades. Things are changing all the time. When you look at the gamma ray sky, you realize that there are violent phenomena in the universe. Estudiar rayos gamma es una ventana a estos fenómenos. Glass es la primera misión que va a observar fotones en el en el último rango del espectro electromagnético que queda por observar. We're looking at the universe from a completely different perspective. We actually look at it through gamma rays, which is another form of light, or it's the same thing as the light we see with our own eyes, except that the light itself is literally tens of billions of times um, more energetic. Objects in the universe put out energy all across the electromagnetic spectrum. And to really understand how the universe was formed, how it's evolving, how the objects in it function, you need to observe over the entire electromagnetic spectrum. GLAST is gamma ray telescopes, two of them, designed to study the highest energy photons in the universe. And there are some mind-boggling things that we might find in this area. GLAST will tell us things about active galactic nuclei, pulsars, supermassive black holes, gamma ray bursts, possibly about dark matter, a whole range of issues which are important to modern physics. Det är precis som att um, man befinner sig i ett mörkt rum och så öppnar man ett fönster mot någonting fint som är utanför. Och jag glas kommer att bli på samma sätt. Man öppnar ett fönster och man kommer att upptäcka nya saker. Every time you open up a new window to the universe, a new wavelength leads you, you discover new things. And usually the universe has many surprises in store for us. There's a lot of major discoveries waiting to be made. Then we're going to learn lots more with glass. GLAST is designed to look at gamma rays, and gamma rays are the highest energy form of light. There's the light we see with our eyes, but there are lots of other types of light. Gamma rays are the most energetic form of light, the most powerful. Gamma rays are the part of what we call the electromagnetic spectrum, which starts in radio at very long wavelengths, goes through optical, then through x-rays, and then gamma rays are the very highest energy form of, of that type of radiation. The reason that it's important to look at the high energy gamma rays is that many objects, the most violent and some of the most interesting objects in the universe, emit most of their light in this high energy gamma ray part. And the only thing that can generate gamma rays are incredibly violent events, incredibly energetic events, and we're talking you know, stars exploding and neutron stars with uh, really strong magnetic fields and, and really exotic and, and strange objects like that. It's like a Christmas tree. It's shining and it's uh, flaring and there are eruptions every day. Gamma ray bursts being an example, something that for a brief instant of time outshines the entire rest of the universe. These are the biggest explosions in the universe. We think that there are the signals that, that happen when a black hole is born. We don't know in detail how it works, and by looking with glass, we'll be able to study the physics of what causes a gamma ray burst. The thing is that most of the gamma rays we look at in, in terms of gamma ray astronomy never reach people, and the atmosphere essentially absorbs all of those gamma rays, which is the reason why glass has to fly on a satellite, because none of the gamma rays we want to see actually make it to the ground. Glass is going to open up that part of the electromagnetic spectrum to better understand the universe. It provides the widest energy coverage for gamma ray bursts that has ever been put into space. Uh, it's going to see the, the frontiers of many objects, high energy objects. And history shows that when you open up a new band in the electromagnetic spectrum, you can expect some surprises, some great surprises.